Hi friends, this is Vital Verge. I blog at www.compilemode.com. In this video tutorial, we will learn what is VBAG in ASP.NET MVC. And before proceeding to the VBAG, let us understand the previous state management technique in ASP.NET MVC and their problems. In ASP.NET, normally we will handle state management by using the session, application variable, cookies, view state, and a little bit about the cache. So, what are the problems in ASP.NET state management technique? Suppose I want I want session value or particular value only for the current request. Then it is not possible in ASP.NET. Suppose uh, if I use a session uh, to pass the value from one page to another page, then that session value is available for all over the pages, which will consume my server resources. And uh, probably lo uh, if lots of session are there, then the application performance is issue also is there. So in ASP.NET MVC, there are there are new state management techniques are introduced. Uh, that is view back view data and tem data which will pass the values from controller to view or controller to controller at temporary purpose instead of instead of leaving same value from all over the pages so we will learn one by one what is vbag what is view data and what is tem data but in this video tutorial we will learn what is vbag in asp.net mvc so I hope you understand the uh, what is the problem in ASP.NET ASP.NET uh, state management technique and what are the solution in ASP.NET MVC. So let us understand about the first state management technique that is VBAG. So what is VBAG? VBAG. Uh, let us understand this is the one slide. Uh, so I will start slide show result from current. Let us see. Let us see this diagram. From this diagram, uh, might be understand that VBAG is nothing but the VBAG is nothing but the to pass the data from controller to the view. So it is used probably to pass the data from controller to view. So how data is passed to controller to view? How how we can access it? How we can declare it? We will see in one practical example. So in short, uh, you can understand that. The VBAG is used to pass the data from controller to view. There are lots of other uh, other key points about the VBAG. We will learn step by step. So, so I will uh, stop this slide and go to Visual Studio, and we will note one one by one point and let us understand practically. So, first point is VBAG is used. Is used to pass data from controller to controller to view. So this is a first point. So uh, let us see. I have one uh, simple uh, MVC application. Uh, this one, and uh, there is a some uh, sample controller named home, and uh, there is some EMP EMP controller. Uh, EMP model, sorry, and uh, thereafter there are uh, one view that is employee view. This is, uh, this is one uh, simple MVC application. If you don't know how to create the MVC application, then please refer my previous videos. So let us let us see. This is a view back. View back is a property. Let's see. This is a property, and it's a dynamic variable we assign. We can assign anything. We can assign property here. As you wish, it is not predefined. I can assign message, I can assign text, I can assign anything, I can give any name here. So, uh, this is a declaration of view back, and uh, this is a controller, and uh, this view is here. Let us see, go to view. This is a view, and how I am accessing value here that is at the red symbol means it starts the C sharp code and view back dot property that uh, dynamic property name it will be anything uh, it is not predefined in the system so let us learn 
so we can fulfill the first point that is vwag is to pass data from controller to view so let us learn let us start this now just wait some uh, it requires uh, some times to compile so it is some microsoft edge now let us output will be displayed just one more one or four more seconds so let's wait it might be my system is slow that's why it requires some times so let us see this is a vital version which is text i have assigned at the here in the view back and how i'm accessing here uh, this so our first point is uh, fulfill that is view bag is used to pass data from controller to view not controller to controller to controller or view to controller it's controller to view so now second point is that the view the value the value assigned to the assigned double s i assigned to the view bag remains only only for current request only for current request if redirection of occurs redirection occurs then the view bag view bag data will be lost sorry view bag data will be lost so in this point suppose uh the value assigned to view bags remains only for the current request if the redirection occurs then the view bag data will be lost so the point is that it will uh, i already stated that the view bag view data and temp data value are uh, uh, passing data to the controller to view or controller to controller as a temporary purpose instead of instead of permanent so Uh, this is my get request at get request i am assigning the value to the view bag and uh, displaying here right so i can i will run this one so we can see practically first this action will uh, execute and uh, uh, the value will be assigned to view bag now run this one run this one is uh, <coughs> right so i have button here okay the value is already assigned to the view back now if i click on button it will the redirection will be occurs how redirection will occur simply it return the this uh, view so it will be redirection will be happen so let us click on the save button let's see the value of view back is disappear means means our second point is fulfill that the value assigned to the view back remains only for the current request if redirection occurs then the view back data will be lost so we have also cover the second points now you thinking about the, what is this message uh, what is this one so uh, friends this is not predefined in the system you can write anything here view back is only the property you can assign anything here suppose i can assign uh, here i can assign message message no i have already so suppose name i have assigned here name so this will be the property of this view back now if i want to uh, access this value at view then simply change this one so uh, so i am uh, trying to say that we can assign anything is here it is not defined in the system so let us let us run application again so it will be fast it will be built again don't worry so <clears throat> let's see it's already there wait it's already running now see this is a vital word means you can assign anything is here now second 
third point is that view back view back is the dynamic dyna dynamic property of property of controller base class controller base class so what is third point third point is view back is the dynamic property of controller base class so i want uh, i am trying to say that this is a there is a one controller base class inside that there is one uh, dynamic properties uh, dynamic properties defined that is view back and uh, you uh, you know already this uh, that is dynamic is the keyword we can say that data type which is introduced in a c sharp 4.0 means uh, when, uh, whatever you value assign it will be it will be takes and resolve at runtime so let us confirm whether this is a property declare like as uh, a public string a public string something like this dynamic or something something so let us see how how can we verify this is a dynamic property so let us go and go to definition see i have already stated that vbag is the dynamic property of controller based class so where is controller based class this is a controller based class and where is our vbag this is a, this is a vbag and how it is defined let us see public dynamic vbag means it is not a string it is a dynamic property of vbag whatever you assign it will be get assigned to the here let's see get set means here it's only have get property so our third point is also cover now what is the meaning of dynamic dynamics means you can assign any value let's see i have assigned a string here string here okay now i can assign numbers also suppose i trying to assign number to the string string a is equals to 100 then what will happen it show the error it says that cannot be implicitly convert time uh, type into string but this can take because it internally works on a dynamic data type suppose again i run this one so let's see output what will the output so output will be a thousand so let us execute now the output will become let's wait that's what yeah so it's a thousand so it means you can assign any value here now another another thing is that if there is a null value over null value okay now what will happen sometimes if it is strongly typed then it will throws the error but vbag does not throw the error it will be handle nulls by default instead of any conversion any type conversion so let us run this one let us run what will assign here if throws the error will stop okay so what will assign over there let's wait yes there is no error no compilation error or no runtime error so it will handle null by default and if i assign here thousand or point value decimal value anything uh, to display it we know we no need to convert that string to string to uh, particular int or into string so it by default handled by vbag so this all about the vbag so uh, where where you use this vbag we can use vbag to show the message uh, when your data is saved uh, and also uh, suppose if you want to bind a uh, drop down list checkbox anything we can uh, use vbag if you want uh, for temporary purpose so this all about the vbags uh, for more videos and more uh, uh, theoretical tutorials you can visit my blog that is www.compilemode.com 
also uh, to support me don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel uh, right from here so friends uh, this is all about the view back we'll meet in next video tutorial that is view data thanks for watching have a nice day